YouTube, what is going on? My name is Red Tank Kevin, whatever you want to call me, and this right here is going to be a video review of the Nexus Media Importer. This application does exactly what the name is, and it leaves little to the imagination. It imports your media to your device. However, it's just not Nexus devices. It's any Android device 3.0 and up. So your Motorola Zoom, your newer HTC phone, uh, your newer Samsung Galaxy S3, um, S2 with the latest software, any, any newer Android phone will work. The only thing you need besides the software, which is $2, very good price, is this OTG cable. And this cable can be had for two or three bucks off Amazon.com. And uh, this little handy cable does a lot. Also, you can build your own cable. My, uh, my buddy Sleepless Ninja actually has a video on how to build your own cable. That kid is uh, very, very smart. So if you like my videos, go look at his videos. His videos are really cool. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he, he will help you out and uh, do what you need to do. So anyways, uh, let's get down to the software. So essentially, we're going to take our cable and we're gonna plug it into the side of our Nexus or other Android device. In this example, we're using my Nexus 7 because this is my, uh, my, my device of choice right now. And we're gonna take our whatever we're using and plug it in. So for example, right now we're gonna take a flash drive. Nothing special about the flash drive, just a normal flash drive you find at a store. So plug her in and the Nexus media importer pops right up for us. Let's take a closer look. All right, so as you can see here, there's three different tabs. There's photos, there's videos, music, and docs. I don't have any documents on here. Um, I did test it out earlier. Documents work as expected. I'm not gonna bore you with uh, an Excel document or nothing crazy like that. Um, we have music, which is music, and it works pretty good. You click the song and it plays within a couple seconds, so uh, that's all good. And we also have video. Now the video, it works and it doesn't work. So it works to the point if you if you have a small file. I put a full movie DVD rip on here that's four gigs by itself. So it took a while for it to start playing, but it did eventually play. So if you're gonna put a movie on here, make sure it's a smaller movie. Um, I'm gonna do a little more testing. I'm not sure if it's the flash drive that's really slow or, or, or what. Um, and photos, which is pretty much what you expect, your pictures. So click on the picture right here and you can view it right here. Um, and you can also save it directly. You can click stream and uh, it shows you the picture. Oh, my screen is dirty. But yeah, this is the picture. Okay, and then we just hit back. And we can hit save. And it says saving the top left corner and now the picture is saved. Now it's gonna show up in our gallery and we can have it on our device directly. So I just basically imported the picture to my device. Uh, you can click up here and do multi-select so you can select multiple things and you know, save them both. So it, it, it works as expected. It works very, very well too, especially for $2, it, it, it does a good job. So let's try some other media too. We can go up here and click disconnect. So you don't want to corrupt your, your media device here. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take this uh, SD card reader and an SD card and we're gonna plug it in and give it a whirl. All right, so it gives us an option to use the, the importer or the viewer. Um, once you get the importer, you can delete the viewer. The viewer is just to test what devices work before you shell out two bucks. So um, we're gonna use the importer here. We're gonna do it always. Okay, we're in here now. Um, so it's pretty much the same thing. We're gonna click on our files. Boom, 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 boom. So that's a, about four picture. Oh crap, sorry. Multi selects on, boom, 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 boom. So, and we're gonna do a stream so we can look at them first. I'm not sure how this works, up or down. All right, we're gonna do save, and it's saving all four pictures to our device. Okay, so as you can see, it pretty much works the same with the SD cards as it does with the flash drives. Pretty simple. We're gonna head over to videos. I have a couple videos on here uh, that I recorded. So let's click one and uh, click on, let's click stream and see what it does. I would pick the video that's all black. It's fireworks going off. Okay. so. 
it streams pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and do the next video. Let's do a save instead. See how long it takes to save. And these videos are actually pretty large because I, I record in 1080p like a boss. All right, the video completed. We can click on the video and we can just play it like we normally do. So don't ask what's going on in that pic in that video. Do not ask. <laughs> I don't know why this guy's dressed up like mayhem and why I'm dressed up like a ninja. Anyways, so yeah, that's uh that's essentially the software. Um one thing I did notice, if you plug a camera into it, it does not work. Um, however, I plug the camera into it and then natively Android pops up telling you that you have new media and things like that. Um, if you guys never seen that, let me show you how that works real quick here. So it, it tells you again, gives you the options. Let's do the importer. See, do the importer and nothing comes up at all. Nothing comes up. So this time we're gonna actually go into our gallery app. And this is actually not a bug. This is something that the developer said it, it will happen actually. Um, he said that it doesn't work for cameras. It, it really just is really made just to work with your uh, your like media, like your in, uh, your flash drives and things like that. So um, this is saying gallery wants to use USB device. Okay, sure, fine. Uh, and then right here goes to the camera. So this is another way of doing things. Uh, it doesn't do video, it just does pictures, and it kind of puts in this grid, and you gotta select and unselect pictures and things like that. The reason I enjoy this application is that. It knows what it does and it does it very well. It doesn't try to give you a thousand bells and whistles. It imports your media and that's it. And it does that job very well. You may ask, why would I want to import my media directly to my tablet? Well, when you're out of town or you're on vacation or you're a photographer, you, when you take pictures, you want to actually look at the picture on a different screen. That seven inch screen that's on your DSLR camera or even your point and shoot camera is not gonna cut it. There's many times I've taken a picture, to me it didn't look good at all when I put it on my tablet or put it on my computer, it looked very, very nice and vice versa. So it's nice to have a device with you that you can always have, that you can always go back to and take a look at how your pictures look. And also another cool thing you can do is when you take a picture, upload it to your phone directly, and then email it out to everyone after you take the picture. You don't have to put it to a computer and kind of bring the middleman into it. That's what I like. Anyways, guys, my name is Kevin Rittink, whatever you want to call me, and this is my full review of that application that I forgot the name of. If you have any questions, please comment, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and I will holla at you guys later.